What is up, children of the Commonwealth? It's Papa Jellybean. I am back with yet another build. My last build kind of tanked. So I'm going to be redoing it. It was Great Garden. It kind of tanked. So we're at Finch Farm. So now that I know how to build ladders and get up to the overpasses, that's what I did this time. I went up to the overpass. So let's just slowly turn around. And if you hear ticking in the background, that's actually those turrets. <laughs> those turrets go tick tick all the time. So, welcome to Jelly's new Finch Farm. Yes, I did build on top of the overpass this time. So as you enter, you have your guard posts. You got two guard posts on each side. There's mats there for you to assign two guards to each side. We'll just quickly go up here, come over here, and there's two places for two guards. So all together there'll be four guards. So one, and then there's some chairs, you know, in case one guy wants to relax a little bit. You know, take turns standing up, because standing all day, I work factories, it, it's murder. And then over here we have the community greenhouse. All the green, all the plants in that. And as you can see, one of the settlers is tending to the plants. And over here we have the municipal jail. All the wanted posters of all the bad people in Fallout. And then as you come in here, there's a waiting room. And this desk here, you can assign a settler. So there will be a receptionist. And then we have three little offices here. And I mean little. Just, you know, just enough. <laughs> just enough room for the guys. And a coffee machine. You always got to have a coffee machine. And then over here we just have a little bathroom, you know, in case they have to go to the bathroom. And then up here we have all your jails. All the jail cells. And wanted posters all over so nobody can forget who's wanted and who's not wanted. And then over here we have the community bathroom. I put some lockers down here, you know, so when they're having a shower or using the bathroom, they can put away their personal items. Good, so they have all their sinks, all the stalls, of course the toilets. And then upstairs, I put some benches here too so they can sit down. And... So then upstairs here we have all the showers. And this time I keep putting bathtubs in because, you know, there's a lot of times where you don't want to have a shower. You want to sit in a nice hot tub and just soak. Then across we have your clinic. Mr. Bones is tending to stand until you assign a settler. You have again here have a receptionist and again you can assign a settler to this desk. Coffee machine over there so they can grab a coffee while they're waiting. And then what I did upstairs is I made five rooms. So all the rooms are identical. They have a chair in there for waiting couple beds so there are five of them they are numbered and then if we go back here we'll be getting up there sooner or later we'll get up there soon don't worry we'll get up there over here I put in a laundromat they can't get the clothes clean so here we have the laundromat guarded by the garden gnomes. And then while you're waiting for your laundry to be done, you can come up here, grab a cold drink, just kind of relax. Just chill a little bit. And then right across we have all your water purifiers. Now one thing I have learned is when I built the purifiers like this, I always put this decor up. Well, this time I remembered, put some water in the darn thing, because you put it in there and there's empty. This time I remembered, and I put water in. 
so they are actually sitting in water and of course they got their own personal generator and then people can come up here and just walk around so if you want to do something up here like put some storage or it gives you the room and then right beside it we have the restaurant come in grab something eat now what I did was I made two floors almost identical you know because you're going to get a lot of settlers they're all going to want to eat you never know if they're going to all come at once or they're going to trickle in or trickle out so you never know so then what I've done for the residents here's my power armor is you get to them through the tower so there are three floors but you get to them through the tower so you have your couches and table for sitting a couple double beds dresser so one side is blue the other side is green so if we're ready let's head up top shall we so i put some couches in because oh, that's a long climb it's a long climb you're gonna want to take a rest so on every floor there's going to be a little some couches and all that and as you see oh i got behind the door again and these are all the only way you can get to the residence are we there yet no we're not there yet Jeez, murphy are we there yet? No, we're not there yet. Wait a minute. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> so up here, I put all the vendors and the bar. The only vendor I didn't put up here was the clinic. And the reason for that was, if you show up as a settlement and you're wounded and cut and whatever, you don't want to have to climb all those stairs. You want to get to help immediately. So I left the clinic on the ground. So we have all your typical vendors here. This is your armor vendor. And then what I've done for them is up here they have their own personal residence. Their own personal bathroom because you don't want to be climbing down those stairs all the time. Not unless you need a band-aid. So that's the armor. And what I've done on either side, well, I didn't do it on this side, but on the other side, I did put turrets because I couldn't remember if there were raiders on the other side of the overpass. I believe there is. Of course, here's your clothing. And here's your general merchant, all stocked up, ready to service, give you what you need. Then of course, when you need a weapon, we have the weapons bin here. So here's the bar, the cat's paw. And it's one of my typical bars. The only difference is the entrance. There's two entrances. The upstairs and downstairs are identical. I use different chairs this time. And then if you go out the other entrance, I made like a little patio on here some barbecues there some tables to sit just overlook everything an earth view from down there so ladies and gentlemen that is jelly's new finch farm if you've enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up the algorithm will love you i'll love you everyone will love you don't forget to smash that subscribe button Move your mouse a little to the right. Hit that bell icon. You'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.